Hello there, crafters. My name is Amanda Farlinger with From Where I Stamp, and I live near Kingston, Ontario, Canada. I'm excited to share with you the free tree lot dies that are in the oops, celebration catalog. So this here has some great, fun, new, free products that you can earn in July and August. Um, but you might be wondering how you can get these dies for free. So if you place a $120 order, in Canada before shipping and tax, then you can add these tree lot dies to your order. So these dies are, oh, I forgot to mark the page right here. So switch this around so you can see better. So there is the tree lot dies. So they're on page 12 and 13 of the celebration catalog where you can see um, the dies and then all the cool projects that you can make. So it is, is geared towards Christmas, but, and there's a stamp set, but you could use these for uh, camping um, as well. So um, they're very versatile and they, like I said, they do have a coordinating stamp set. So it's in the mini catalog on page 39 and it's called trees, trees for sale. So it's $30. So you'd have to make up the difference with your order, but you could get this really cool embossing folder, which I missed a couple times going through the catalog. Um, but like this thing, see, this, that's the embossing folder. It's pretty awesome. So I, I didn't get the stamp set yet. I'm, I'm still not sure, but I do love the little dog and look at the little bobbins. They're so cute. Okay. So that's in the mini catalog, the July to December. So it started July 1st. This is the celebration catalog that started July 1st as well. So you have until the end of August, but because they're dies, I would suggest placing your $120 order earlier rather than later, just in case they sell out, because there's a possibility they do, and then you wouldn't get them. Um, so today's project works for Christmas, but you could also use it for a camping adventure. And we're going to use the Painted Christmas Designer Series paper. You might be wondering, but I've seen that before. It was in last year's mini catalog in the fall. So there's um, some great projects here in my YouTube that use this designer paper. So we're going to use some of these sheets to create a scrapbook layout. And it's actually a, a two page layout. So we're gonna create one today. And then I'll show you the other one that I made for, um, a, uh, for um, what's the word, Instagram reel. <laughs> okay, so before we start putting this together, I wanted you to make I wanted to make sure you know that I share videos every Tuesday and Thursday here on YouTube. Hit subscribe so you can get notified when the next video goes live. There's also a blog post that pairs with this video and it's linked in the description. So make sure to check that out because there's a supply list as well there. And um, if you'd like to order any of the supplies, I so appreciate when you select me as your demonstrator. So if in your if you are in Canada and you don't have a demonstrator, then uh, if you click on any of those links down there, it'll take you to my online store. Same thing on the blog as well. So we have this 12 by 12 piece of paper and I'm just going to put this here. This is evening evergreen. And I'm using the big grid paper just because I want to line this up. You can see my markings. Um, because I created a page already, I wanted to make sure that it lines up because it's a double page. So we're going to add some simply elegant trim. This is gold and silver trim. So we're going to use the gold. And we do need some tear tape. So this is very fine, very thin. Um, I want to say twine, but we'll say trim. So tear tape, you just rip off a little piece. We're going to go to the back side. And we're going to put it here. Not quite middle. 
And you can leave the tear tape on. I'm going to rip off another piece. So we're just going to make sure that goes around. Don't pull it too tight. And then about the same location. Sorry for the dog barking. Um, scissors. Okay, there we go. Apologies for the dog. All right. So, back to our layout. So, we have this here. It's not quite tight enough. Let's see if I can fix that. Oh, that's because this one doesn't have enough tear tape. The actual stickiness on it. Okay, where did I do it? Oh, right. I was like, where did I put my tear tape? Okay. So let's try this again. Let's pull this not too tight. And put this down. All right. So what I'm looking for is just something that's along here to give some dimension, a little bit of gold, because I have some, uh, what are they called? Uh, brushed metallic dots that I used on the other side of the page that I think would be really good just to add some depth into it. Okay, this way. Oops, got glue on me. So I want to make sure, I make sure you can see it too. So like so, that looks pretty even. Oops, put my, put my page back. There we go. So now we have these two pieces on. We have this pine cone designer piece. It's like one by 10. I think this is, this is just a eight by eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. I cut in half at four and a quarter. So it's four and a quarter by eight, eight and a half. No, by 11, four and a quarter by eight, by 11. And this is like 10 and a half. And this is like 10 inches give or take a little bit. So we'll put our little trim here. I think that looks good. Maybe not. Maybe it's because this is, that looks better. Eyes are deceiving. Okay, so that's basically the main part. So those are the big pieces. And I love doing scrap of pages because you can just layer on cardstock and you can put just a, a few pieces or you can put a lot on there. All right, so next up I have, because I don't have any photos at the moment. Um, I don't know if I'll use this for it this December's um, pictures, or if I'll, you know, save it and keep it for some past photos. So this is six and a quarter by four and a quarter. This one's four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So you can get a four by four photo and a four by six photo on here. And the next one is um, I think five and a quarter by, I'll have to check, five and a quarter by three, what is it? Oh, four and a quarter by five and a quarter. That's what it was. So this one here, we're actually going to put on dimensionals. So I have the outside piece and I like to put lots of dimensionals on my photo layers because if they're sitting you're looking through them you don't want your dimension to go poof and be flat and that's where the edges of the dimensionals comes in handy And we'll just hold 
bunch of them on there. Now you don't have to take the back off all of them. Just enough so you know it'll stick on the page. And then um, the biggest thing to remember when putting your page together, if you don't have the photos, is you want to make sure that any if you put, oops, photo boxes down, you want to make sure that anything you put down doesn't cover or glue over top so then you don't have to fussy cut your photo because that'll just look a little strange. Okay, so this, we're lining it up here. There we go. So now we can do some stamping. So there's our page without any embellishment. So we have three photo pockets. Technically, you probably could do this one as some journaling or add some like, oh, I don't have any, some basic white cardstock here um, to add some, some information about. So if you're just doing one page, then you could just add some information about that day. Okay, so the tree lot dies don't have any sentiments in them. So let's let's have a look at the, the dies. So there are logs for the trees. So if you wanted to do like logs for fire or put them under the trees, you could do that. The string of lights, I think that's a pole. Um, some flags. I think this is for the Charlie Band Christmas tree and I'm not sure about that. Um, a camper a wreath, some trees, I think these are bows, and of course the dog, and a sign, and I'm not sure what that is. We'll figure it out someday. But this Christmas to Remember stamp set is a returning favorite as well, so I think it's in the annual catalog, and we're going to use Merry Christmas. I use Season Greetings on, oops, that's the one I used on the other page. <laughs> other page. So we need a block, we need some ink. So we're gonna use some evening evergreen. That's the dark green. Okay, make sure it's inked up well. We want it on the left side because we're gonna make a little flag, banner, whatever you wanna call it. Oh, there's my chamois. I'm like, where did my chamois go? Okay, just clean that. That looks good enough. And I like to put my stamps back so I don't lose them. There we go. Put that up there. Okay, so now with this, that was silly, Amanda. I should have put this down before I put the photo layer down. Oh, well, we can make it work. I'm sure we can make it work. Okay, so after this, we're gonna do some die cutting with those dies. Okay, no. So we are going to snip that. Hopefully it's gonna go underneath so it won't matter. Yeah, it'll go under just a little. So we're gonna add some glue onto the back of this. You could do dimensionals if you wanted, if you had a better edge to the other end than mine or you can make it a flag like um you could cut out that piece on both sides so i'm just going to slide that in there until it doesn't go in any further we have merry christmas so it's kind of our title and then we don't have to handwrite our title or make it fancy or anything all right so now the fun part with the tree lot dies and our mini stamp and cut and emboss what you need is where did it go you need some colors so i use pear pizzazz evening evergreen and garden green so those are the three colors they're pulled directly from the painted christmas designer series paper and I've already cut out the base tree here. So these are the base trees, these ones here, this one and this one. So there's three different sizes. And then there's three different sizes for the intricate dies. So we're gonna cut out one of these and 
open this up. Oops. Now, because it's an intricate die, I would suggest using um, adhesive sheets to save you from having to put um, like glue and getting glue everywhere. These are my favorite for die cutting. So we're just going to put that on there. Get the stickiness off my finger. Now you want to make sure that this sticky part goes down. So you got to remember where it is. So you put your tr tree die over top of that. Layer it. Put it on through. And we're just doing one because I have the other ones done because it's a little finicky. And I, I don't know about you, but can, can you see the little face? That it looks like a tree guy with, with two eyes and a mouth. And he's like, what are you doing? Or, or am, I, am I weird? <laughs> I'm probably just weird anyhow. All right. So best thing to do when you have the adhesive sheets is leave the die on and then just shake it so it comes apart. And then you'll want to grab something. You can use a toothbrush if you wanted, but the Take Your Pick tool has this die brush attachment and it comes with foam. And we're just gonna go back and forth on our tree die. And what it does, it oops, loosens up the trees, the tree and all the little pieces. So put that back. Don't want to lose it. It didn't come out as well. Oh well. So this is what I mean by it's a little annoying is all these little pieces. Because if you just pull this, you still have some oops, you still have some pieces here. So you could have another piece of cardstock to pull them up. You can use your finger like my thumb, but you just want to get rid of those inside pieces. So then you're left pretty much with this intricate part that already has glue on it. It's already sticky. And you just, oops, almost ripped it. Then you just stick it on down. So here I have another one and one with pear pizzazz and, and um, evening evergreen. And then we have this garden green, bigger one ready to go. And I find it's easier for me to start at the top and work my way down. So we have four trees ready to go. Okay. So let's finish up our layout and then I'll show you the other, the other side over here because I have it ready. So these trees we're going to put in here and I'm going to put the green ones on some dimensionals to make them pop. And like so. Okay, and then we're going to take these big ones. We're going to put a little bit of glue on the back. I'm not sure if I like the pear pizzazz with this layout, but because I was looking for a couple different greens and I tried mint macaron, but it didn't seem to work as well. I'd love to hear what you think. Does this lighter green work with this layout? It's not one I usually use, but because it's designer paper, and I love designer paper, and it tells me that's one of the colors that coordinates, well, I just don't guess. If it coordinates, then if it looks okay, I'm going to use it. All right, so those trees look kind of funky because they're a different layer, but it might work. So next up, we have our brushed metallic dots. So these here, 
we are going to add some small gold ones right against this photo layer. We're going to do three. There we go. And then I'm going to take one big one right there. So I think that's all I'm going to do, just that one. I'm going to get rid of the grid paper. Hopefully you'll be able to see both layouts in the, in the, in the video. Okay. So this is the one that we've made today, ready for three photos and, or two photos, and you can do some journaling or add another piece up here with some journaling. Um, it just depends on how much space you might need. And then this other one, does it fit? It kind of does. All right. So this one here, see how they match up? That's where grid paper is your friend. So it's not exactly, but they're not going to be like that in the scrapbook anyhow. But they're close enough that you won't notice. So I have season's greetings up here and three trees. This is the journaling spot. Then we have a photo. You can slip it under this trim. And then two four by sixes here. So I'd love to know if you like pear pizzazz on this layout and what you think of this scrapbook. And if you enjoyed this video, um, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And the list for the products I've used for, because it's the same for both layouts, are listed in the description. Um, and if you missed my hippo card from Tuesday, make sure to pop back um, into my YouTube channel and go watch that because the, these, these hippos are just adorable. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next Tuesday.